Greetings and welcome to the introduction to astronomy. One of the things that I like to do in each of my introductory astronomy classes is to begin the class with the astronomy picture of the day from the NASA website that is apod.nasa.gov apod. And today's picture for June 10th of 2022. Well, it is titled ARP 286 Trio in Virgo. So what do we see here? Well, we see a trio of galaxies in the constellation of Virgo and we see them set off to the left hand side here. And they are three spiral type galaxies and in fact are concluded in the catalog of peculiar galaxies because they don't look exactly like spiral galaxies in that they are quite distorted. And you can see that the spiral arms are not quite symmetrical at times and seem to be stretched out a little bit. And this is when it happens when galaxies are interacting. So these galaxies will interact gravitationally and as their gravitational fields collide, the material will be pulled from one galaxy to another. In fact, the large galaxy towards the center is a larger than our own Milky Way by about 50%, about 150,000 light years across. And then we see two other smaller galaxies. And you can see strong distortions with the one off to the right hand side. Now galaxy interactions and galaxy collisions like this are very common and were especially common in the early universe. And this is how galaxies change over time. So galaxies long ago when we look at images from galaxies shortly after the Big Bang were much smaller than the galaxies we see today. We do not see the grand spiral galaxies and large giant elliptical galaxies that we see in the universe today. Those have grown over time from interactions much like this. And over time, galaxies will interact, will collide together, and will eventually consume one another, growing in size. So eventually, galaxies will get larger and larger. And that's how we've gotten the great galaxies that we see today. And this is simply a part of the way that galaxies evolve over time. Now we don't only see galaxies in this picture off to the right hand side we see two stars that are prominent and those are two stars within our own Milky Way galaxy. So we see galaxies very distant ones on the left hand side and we see the uh, more nearby stars. Now if you look at those two stars you'll notice very distinctly that they are different colors. The one to the upper right looks very red in color the one to the lower left looks very blue. Now this tells us about the temperatures. A red star is a cooler temperature and is emitting primarily shorter wavelengths. So we will see it primarily with the red color that we see here. And the hotter star will emit higher energy light and that will look blue to us. Now the stars actually emit most in other wavelengths. In fact, the hotter star probably emits more ultraviolet light than anything else and the cooler star emits more infrared. But since our eyes are not sensitive to those colors, we see them as the dominant color nearby. So a star that it looks emits mostly infrared will look very red to us. And one that looks ultra emits mostly ultraviolet will look rather blue. So here we get to see the couple of stars showing the different colors and temperatures of some stars, as well as a trio of interacting galaxies in the constellation of Virgo. So that was our picture of the day for June 10th of 2022. It was titled ARP 286 Trio in Virgo. We'll be back again tomorrow for the next picture. So until then, have a great day everyone, and I will see you in class.